Good afternoon, Internet. I am your host, Hazel Place 89 Welcome to City Skylines 1. We are in Old Samville again today. And everything is looking good. Everything is looking fantastic. But what I need, what we, what, we, what I want to focus on today is expansion up in this area. Oh, hold on. Up in this area. <laughs> um, and then if we look at our education, we are hurting for some stuff. We need... Uh, at least one more elementary school i want to get a high school in and i want to get a university in as well to at least put a little dent in some of that um that demand that we have for those resources so what i want to do is we're going to come through and take a look at this area right here i think that this will be a fun little place to put things so let's get started i hope that everyone is having a good day today i know i am um, I know the video schedule this week has been kind of strange, a little different, um, but I want to thank you all for being uh, being patient with me about that. Let's take you to about here. Let's try to get that at 130. Okay, 120 will be fine. Alternatively, we could go a little closer. I think I like the shallower angle right here. But what we're going to do, let's come off about five units from that and I'm gonna so I can tell that it's five units if I put the edge of the circle the big circle at the center of the small node circle and so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna delete these and I want this curve to be nice and smooth so we'll keep guidelines on just grab our simple curve tool and we have a five by five curve which is delightful and amazing and everything that I've ever wanted in a curve like that so we have that going for us, which is nice. Also, let's see about getting a road up here. And we do, and it doesn't look like it's broken any zoning. So that's delightful. So yes, here we are in old Samville again today. Just having fun. Laying down some road guidelines. So what I want to do is we really want to make sure that we have, we want to make this space special. Okay, so let's do, what is that, 20, and let's go another, let's go 30 this time. And we're going to go down 20 here as well. Okay. Here's that train view. I'll always, I, I just can't get over it, it looks really great. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab our education. Is this, we are one unit away from where I want to be so what we're gonna do what is that that was 30 let's remove this and we're gonna go 31 units I know that's a weird weird number but I think it will it'll get us the look that we kind of desire as well so I think I'm fine with it so you can tell that it's centered oh that's perfect so if we look at the unit at the um, squares on either side we go back to our road view for instance you can see there's one two three four on either side and it's the depth is perfect i'm gonna have to actually flatten the land out a little bit so let's do that let's delete you and we're gonna delete all the things that we just did <laughs> so but we we know i know what i want to do so we're going to grab our level terrain tool of the brush size a little bit and we're gonna just flatten all this land out right like so yeah a little something like this and that'll be fine we can grab our soften tool again and just soften some of the edges right here out yeah but I want that to be pretty straight so let's try this again Let's do, let's come off of this angle so we can kind of maximize where we're at. Then we'll go back here. Ooh, I think I messed that up. Yeah, that's not great. All right, we'll fix that. Do our five uh, little nub thing. And then, I 
think I messed that up. We'll see here in a second. So that's five by five. All right, perfect. We didn't mess it up. Delightful. So for the most part, everything that we have going for us is what we want to do. So let's go. We're going to go 20 and then we're going to go 31. We're going to go back this way. And then I think what we had was this right here. Yes. Beautiful. Make sure that that is even on both sides and it is. And now we have ourselves a little campus area. But what I think I'm going to do, actually, let's connect you. Let's make a few more connections out here. This is going to be a big education facility. Um, kind of as we as we as we need that. So we're just going to do that for now. Make sure we get some water where we need it. Let's scratch that. We'll put you here. Probably get by with doing that. That'll be fine. Yeah. Follow our roads right where they belong. <laughs> so, let's just get a little nub just to cover that area. And then I think we're fine for that for now. We have $41,000. We need to think about how we're going to start making money again. Um, and honestly, what we could do is we have this square over here. I was thinking about putting something right in here um, educationally, but what I think we'll do instead, we will grab some of our low density residential. And that grid is broken. That's fine. We can put stuff right here, perhaps, or we could probably rebuild this little square. So let's rebuild the little square because I want it the right way. So what we'll do, come down. I think that's 24 by 24. And then we can do, we can do that. And then we'll just double check with our zoning. And it's not correct for some reason. Huh, interesting. That's okay. We can make this an, uh, the, yeah, let's just turn this into an education. Uh, facility because we like you like we sh like a show earlier we need it so we'll kind of double up high school and elementary school out here so what i think we'll do is start with that we'll grab the high school we'll grab the high school and i want to put it on the corner let's put it on let's put it right here and then i think what we'll do is we will place elementary schools kind of is like a, a did like an add-on building so to speak right here and i think that works do we have power we do have power but it's looks in like we are hurting for power oh look at this our farm has reached level five delightful that is beautiful that's exactly what i wanted so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna leave that alone for now i don't need to get distracted so Here's what we're gonna do. We actually have demand now for high density stuff. Okay, so what I think I like the idea of doing is coming through here, we're gonna actually turn off some of our zoning and I'm just gonna do some interesting zoning shapes with our zoning tools. Okay, let's delete you because I didn't happen the way I wanted it to so we will figure that out I want to really I want to be very specific with the way that I'm doing my zoning and you know what? I think that'll be okay I think that'll be fine we can have some fun pads right back there so we have that let's go ahead now and I want to place in some high density but before we do that let's actually get a district going so let's put you here and follow that all the way up like so. And this will be kind of like our starting, our first low slash medium dense or medium density area of the city. So what we're going to do is I saw this fun trick. I think it was overcharged egg that did it um, where he had like thin Brooklyn and Queens style zoning. So that's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to grab that. So if we have the district style, 
here's what we could do let's go to city policies and i'm going to city poli city policy these things in and that will be amazing we have brooklyn and queens the uh, brooklyn and queens on so what we'll do this is going to do some two by two zoning squares of high density residential like so and so we can get some density in this area now i don't want to i don't think i want to go too crazy with it i think those will be fine for now but we have those there to have those there now i would love to be able to get this public library in and it looks like i can so what i should be able to do is kind of fudge the numbers so to speak and have this here as though it's part of the campus that we just placed down so what i'm going to do is i want it right here but i want it at an angle so let's go ahead and do that let's get let's get an angle about right here eh, like so all right we can choose our yeah beautiful get that going for us which is nice and we are running out of money so what we're gonna do is we're gonna speed the game up while we play so yeah now i think now would be a good time to uh gently remind you that if you haven't subscribed to the channel feel free to subscribe feel free to hit that uh, subscribe button leave a like and a comment down below let me know what you think about the uh going ons the goings on in uh old sandville because i know that i'm having a good time in cities one and speaking of having a good time in cities one we are gonna have a new dlc content creator pack um released <laughs> literally tomorrow at the time of recording this video there is a uh two new packs i believe the um map creator the content creator map pack three as well as um i like a mountain hostels mountain hotels pack or something and i'm looking forward to it i really am so let's go ahead now we're going to get some plazas in because i feel like that would be a good idea in this area now i kind of shot myself in the foot here and i the way that i made this area we it's not even because it's 31 units it's because of how this asset is so i need to build around this asset here now what i could do is i could really customize like do something custom but i love the way that we have these the opportunity to build with Ooh, that would be fun a tourist park we have we have all these fun assets and we have the opportunity to play with them and i would like to do that we have plazas right we should be able to get a number of any number of these things in so realistically speaking we could make something worth looking at if you know what i mean alternatively we could play with some of these bad boys so many options friends so many options ah that, that's actually perfect so i think what we'll do we're just gonna scroll through for a little bit and see what we come up with um we well, yeah we have this area let's take a look at our educational everything's in the green except our elementary school and that's fine what we could probably do we could realistically set another elementary school um back here to kind of help out with some of that demand we can make this like a facilities building or something for this little campus and i will eventually i want to what i will do is i'll definitely get like an actual campus going like with that dlc pack um because i have it we have the opportunity to do that for all of these things um so like an actual campus facility but i think for now for cost savings um i think it's kind of a if, i think it's fun playing with the vanilla buildings vanilla assets like so you know and just making it work and there's nothing wrong with that you can it really kind of helps spark that creativity um finding like experiencing problems and then finding fun creative ways of solving said problems so let's put some fountain plazas there and i don't actually mind that they're two different colors or two different styles that's fine with, with me 
Now, I was thinking about going a little crazy when it comes to um, putting a bunch of pre-built plazas down, but I think we'll save that and we will have ourselves a good time with other things. So what I do want to do is see about getting some creative parking space solutions out with side around near these um, bad boys back here. So, how could we do this, I wonder? We may have to... Uh, so good. What we probably need to do is we honestly probably need to turn on zoning on this road. Like so. And then we can place, perhaps, parking lots. Yeah. I think we'll have that. Um, that's fine. And I guess people, if they wanted to, could cross over to these areas. And I don't actually mind it. I really don't. I almost want to take this road and push it back a little bit. Hmm. I'm not satisfied with that. I'm not, I'm not too pleased with the way that that's going. But what we could do instead, we can grab a road... And we can put this right here. And we can just have a little wraparound lot. And I think that'll be a little bit better for us in this situation. Yeah. We have a little parking lot back here. It's not going to park everybody, but I think, you know, we'll have street parking out here. And I think it'll be fine. I think that that will be all right. All right. All right. So there we have that. And we are having trash problems, but I think it's just a matter of the trash getting out there. Um, what we could do down here in this spot is maybe add some trash collection. But I don't think I want to do that just yet. I do like the idea of grabbing a little bit more Brooklyn and Queens. Maybe getting some right here. Yeah, I think I think we'll wait for that to come through and then we'll have a good time. We're going to do some fun path work back here to connect these uh, parking lots as well. So, yeah, there we have it. We are scooting right along with some of our new demand. Got some uh, high density in, which is going to look really cool, especially as we build it up. Um, yeah, I don't want to I want to avoid overzoning high density until we get this over here. Um, so yeah. What we can do, let's come back down to this educational facility cuz like I said, I want this to be I want this to appear like it's one cohesive space. So what we're going to do is we're going to come through similar to how we did with this Oh, we didn't actually okay. Never mind. We can do something fun. That was a different thing I was thinking about. Let's find a sports field. A sports field. Now, where I went to high school, we had a big football field, American football field. And I think I want to do the same thing here. We're going to have a community football field. Perhaps there. I wish that I... I, I kind of wish that the... <laughs> The um, things were a little the assets. I wish I'd made the block a little bigger. Is what I'm trying to say, but that's fine. That's fine. So, what I kind of want to do is I want to come through and see what we can do in the way of putting trees down in front of things. So I think I like the idea of maybe having. Let's put a thing here, and we'll put a thing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab tree line roads and put them all right there. And we'll delete you, delete you. So we have that. And then what we'll do is I want to grab the two lane with median and put it around the middle there. So we can have that. And I think I like the idea of doing something similar over here. Let's grab the median two-lane tree with median and put it right there. Gonna add some flavor into that uh, 
out front of that little little space. And what we can do is we can upgrade our trees. Let's upgrade the trees to the young linden. Oh, hi there. The young linden. Just a little bit of little bit of extra appeal, so to speak. So there we have that. Now we have this over here, this space over here. What I think I might do with this is we're going to want to throw in some housing, probably. Probably put some housing right here and start again with our with our normal zoning. Let's take off the uh, high density, though. I don't want high density zoning right here, but I do want a new district. And let's just kind of kiss that road right there. Yeah. And we're going to make sure that we have our district clean and pretty. You know, <laughs> and we'll just delete that right there. Just shave a little bit off, just a little bit off the top. So they say, yeah, there we go. Let's make this a, I think I like European suburbia over here. So we'll have some, some of these types of houses over next to our campus. And I think it'll be a good time. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and grab just a, regular old two-lane road and we're going to just put some put some put some uh zoning in the midst you know how it is you gotta put the zoning in the midst sometimes so let's go ahead now and we'll just can i just boop it down i'm pretty sure i can just boop it down i want to bloop it uh bloop it here first and then we can bloop it right right there yeah okay perfect and that'll be that so what I'm gonna do now since we have placed so we've got this these two areas two nice beautiful areas I kind of like the idea of finding a way to make a connection with this couplet system this way but I don't think we really need that because they could just use this connection to get into this area and I think that'll be I think that'll be a much better solution but what we do probably need to do is think about more expansion out this way so let's just go let's go 50 and we'll just go straight up and then we'll just make some through through roads just some connections I want it to be, what do we have here? We have 14. Let's go 14 off the year as well. And we'll just, we'll just make a way, right? We'll just make a way. Have some uh, fun and interesting shapes in the middle of this nice zonable area. And then I'm going to get that little nub there because I like the little nub there. That'll be fine. Meh. I changed my mind. But let's expand the district to just kiss the couplet there. Ooh, I don't actually want zoning that far on the couplet. Okay, that's right. Yeah, so we're gonna, gonna make this work. Let's do this. And we're gonna just scribble, 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 scribble. And let's actually go ahead and just go down to about here. And then we'll delete what we pasted what we put there because I want to make this I want to make it clean you know I'm just satisfying about seeing a clean district in City Skylines 1 so what I want to do is I'm going to delete the zoning right here I want to remove that because I don't want that there it doesn't need to be there and that's not at all where that needs to be what we could do though is we could still have a little something something right here that'll be fine so what we're going to do, let's go ahead and we're going to just do something like this. Let's actually just bring this connection all the way through. Yeah, and I think that'll be fine. So now what we'll do, get some water pipes laid out like so. A little something like this, a little something like that. You know how it is. We'll just bloop. So let's talk about something really quick. I am thinking about adding new games to the channel. I said that I was going to do that in October on Fridays, and I haven't. And I sincerely apologize for that. It's just been a crazy busy month for you, boy. 
Um, and I, I, I do apologize. I don't want to, I don't want to say something to you guys and then not follow through on it. So I'm going to make a commitment to add more things to the channel. Um, I, I don't know if you've heard of this game, but it's called The Long Dark. It's like a winter survival type game. Um, and I recently picked it up on Steam. And I think that it would be a fun time. So I think I would like to pursue that as a storytelling medium here on the channel. So if you're interested in seeing some Long Dark on the channel, let me know down below in the comments. I would, uh, it would be very, very much appreciated because I love your, I love, I love to see y'all guys, y'all's all, all y'all's input. I love that, uh, the engagement on the channel in regards to what you do or do not want to see me play. Um, I saw some comment from Minecraft, which I think would be a fun time. I saw, um, yeah. And our one thing over here is broken, so we're going to cheese the game. And collapse this in on itself. A dying star. And then delete it. We can delete it. Okay, that's just deleting these buildings up here. That's not what I want to do. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to empty that. But we're going to put... Oh, sweet. We have this. Delightful. We're going to put an incineration plant somewhere but I don't know where I want to put the incineration plant we could probably get it over here so let's kind of just temporarily for now in this one little moment we're gonna grab this road and we're gonna do that's actually since it's an, an industry area let's get a fun industry road so we're gonna do let's just sploosh it out that way and we're gonna grab you put you there how many is that that's 10 let's go to the go to That'll be fine. So we're going to, like I said, an impromptu, whatever this thing's called, incineration plant. A ton of money. A ton, a ton of money. And we also probably need to get water out underneath here. But you know what, friends? Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you got to make concessions. Um, you want your city to maintain success, uh, like a, at least a, some sort of semblance of being successful. Sometimes you got to make investments and this here incineration plant is one of those things so with all that said what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and we're going to run through continue zoning and i think i actually like the idea of having like a shopping centers in this area so what we're going to do is i'm going to detail just a little bit around some of our oh sweet it's coming in Get some office spaces in too. I think that'd be kind of a fun idea, especially out here in the uh, newly formed vanilla university campus. Let's just get a little office building out here. So office counts towards industry, which is amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a couple of our new farming. Well, I don't have the money for that yet. So never mind. I was gonna place some of our new farming stuff, but again money so instead we're going to come through and we're going to just have a nice fun beautiful detailing time lapse in the couple of areas uh, a couple of our new educational campuses in this area so with that said i'll see you guys in just a little bit i was just about to start the time lapse and we hit a milestone we are a small city, so we have 11,000 population now. So we have monorails and stuff. A few different options for track uh, tracks for that. Um, yeah, we have different uh, we have cargo train terminal and a regular train terminal. All sorts of fun stuff. So just, it's great. We just have more options now with regards to services and public transport, which, as you know, public transport a thing that I've been uh, um, really wanting to focus on. And since we have train stations, what we can do is um figure out the this situation that runs through the midst of the city so i'm gonna get back to time lapsing our details and i will see you guys momentarily
Welcome back. We did some detailing and it was fun. I had a good time with that. Um, let's take a look first of all at the lesser education area that we did. What we did was we added some parking back here. I feel like that makes a ton of sense for that to be there. Um, and then we just kind of did some light detailing with trees and bushes and things back here. Because really, the place is so compact, you can't really pack too much detail in regard to like props and whatnot. Um, because the gaps between the assets are so small. But if you do it right, you can kind of finagle some trees where trees might not otherwise be. So like right here, we have this, this, we place this one right here. We place these right here. There's a small gap that if you do it right, and I'll kind of demonstrate that if you can do it right, what you'll have is you have a fun little, um, you see how it's flashing. So if I were to click here, we have a young Linden house. So you have to kind of like be patient with it and just kind of, kind of go with the flow as it were. So let's just kind of do that there. And I think that that looks kind of nice. Now, let's go back into this view. Yeah, I'm going to hide all of our trash problems because we have trash problems. So I kind of, I really do like the way that this turned out. It came out nice and simple and I'm a big fan of that. Um, but that's kind of, that's kind of where we landed right here with this. So let's go up to our vanilla campus area and i just adore the way that this turned out i really do um the the row homes here are perfect in every way we just did some mild path work i might tree line it i'm not sure i haven't decided yet but so far i like the way that it happened um with our row homes with our brooklyn and in brooklyn and queens assets that we have going for us which is nice and just kind of the light tree work that pre-existed um that was already here and it just kind of worked out so whenever i placed the sidewalk cafe here i was just able to draw a path there and then we have another eatery on the other side of here one of them is the cafe and one of them is the sidewalk restaurant i can't remember which is which but let's just take a look and see how beautiful these uh brooklyn and brooklyn and queens towers are coming in i like it we have a parking lot back here with a with, let's say that this is student housing. I feel like that makes sense for this area. And so we have the dirt path going all the way up to our main campus area. And so this was a fun area to put together. Um, it's just it's just light on the path work. Well, heavy on the path work, really. And then some bushes. I love lining some of these fun areas, some of these shapes with bushes like this. It just kind of gives it a nice flavor, you know. And we have multiple ways for people to go in and this is like perfectly right out in front of our campus our university building so to speak and then we have decal work to make the grass look decent and these squares kind of flanking the um fountain plazas we just have squares with trees and whatnot and i think it looks kind of good but also if we take a look at our library asset we have a beautiful statue out front here and i love the way that that looks right out in the middle if you angle it right <laughs> and then again just some more trees or bushes rather we tree lined that with young lindens we did some path work like we mentioned earlier and I didn't go too ham on this because I want this area to kind of be kind of be more accessible since it is a library. I guess you could say that people might be out back here, say reading some books or something. So let's go ahead and just kind of do what we've what we have been doing. What I've been doing is I've been using the trade school table as our kind of park or not park benches, but our kind of picnic table assets. And I think that works out really well. So if you you do you play your cards right, you can make those kind of an interesting, like nestled in the trees there. And I like the way that that looks. We have paths lining this going all the way up here. I have placed some benches and some bins just because I feel like that looks good and makes sense. And out here beside this beautiful office building, I don't know what this could be, but I love the way that that looks. So I made it historical and I added a path around it with some tr with some more of those um, trade school benches. And then we have my, one of my favorite assets. We have the gazebo. So people can come out here and chill and look. And then if you're clever, you could probably take a peek at the big lake behind it. But yeah, we're just coming back here. We just filled in the green space with trees. 
No need to go too crazy with that, but I love the way that light looks. So that's pretty much what we've done for the detailing. But I came in and I filled some of these areas with zoning and I'm just absolutely loving this new area, this new education facility. Basically, this is our college for now until we until we build out an actual university. I just love the way that this looks and I kind of want to take a nice screenshot of it. But I think we'll take it probably let's take it from this angle actually. There we go. So yeah, and then we added like a and more dirt path to connect the neighborhoods. I think I might add some more kind of around here. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 adoring the way that this is coming along. Like I said at the beginning of the time lapse, we unlocked a bunch of stuff. We have a new milestone, but we'll get to that later. The, one of the last things I did was I unlocked a tile. Let's get back into this view. We have this tile now. So what we'll begin to do in the next episode is begin to drill out this direction towards our coastline. And we are going to have ourselves a grand old time as old Simville really gets underway. I relocated the garbage dump. <laughs> um, I feel like having these close together like that kind of you could potentially introduce some bottlenecks but i feel like it makes more sense for them to be separated but you know what friends i want to thank you all so much for watching i want to thank you for your likes comments subscribes they all mean a whole ton the channel is doing wonderfully and i can't thank you all enough that you would take the time to sit and watch the videos it's very humbling and it means an absolute ton so with all that said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye